Why do some horses have their manes on the left and others on the right? Or how long does it take to regrow an entire hoof? Here are 10 weird and quirky facts about horses that will surprise you, even if you're an equestrian. Number 1. Horses flatten their ears so they don't get ripped off during a battle. If you've been around horses before, you probably know not to go near ones like this. Flattening the ears is the horse's way of telling you or other horses to stay away, or there will be consequences. It's a sign of aggression or irritation, and it often goes along with baring the teeth and flushing the whites in the eyes. But where did this instinct come from? Well, actually, pinning the ears back is an ear protection mechanism that goes back to ancient times, and it's meant to get this body part out of the way of an attacking horse. It's a sign that a horse is getting ready for battle. Number 2. Out of all animals, horses have the second longest hair on their heads. That's right, horses place second in the ranking of longest hair on the head, right after us humans and before lions. A horse called Prince Imperial, one of the first Bergerons imported to the United States, was thought to have the longest mane in the world. His dashing locks reached a whopping 14 feet 3 inches, or over 4 meters at their longest. His mane was so long that it had to be braided and looped at all times to stop the horse from stepping on it. While Prince Imperial's mane grew at an unusually fast rate, the average horse gains anywhere between half an inch to an inch and a half of mane a month, depending on breed and other factors. Certain horse breeds with pony or draft bloodlines such as Gypsy Venner or the Frisian have longer and thicker manes than other horses. Number 3. It takes around 10 to 12 months to regrow an entire hoof. The building blocks of hooves is keratin, the same protein that makes up our hair and nails. Hooves grow out of an area called the coronary band, at the rate of a quarter of an inch to half an inch per month. This is why any hoof supplements you give to your horse will need at least 6 to 8 months to show results. Number 4. Horses consume exactly as much salt as they need. No less, no more. Their internal regulation system tells them exactly when to stop. Research has shown that herbivores have a well-developed appetite for salt, which mainly depends on how much electrolyte they lose through sweating and urinating. As salt is made up of sodium and chloride, both of which are electrolytes, your horse's salt consumption will largely depend on exercise and weather. With that being said, some horses do develop a taste for salt and start binging on it, but rest assured that salt toxicity is extremely rare. Number 5. One shoulder of a horse is always bigger than the other. Why? Because just like us, horses are also right or left-handed. This is determined by genetics and can be seen at birth. Foals are born in a diving position, with one leg slightly in front of the other. Whichever leg comes out first will usually be the dominant one. You can also determine which one is your horse's preferred leg while riding, as he will be more comfortable going on that rein. Your horse will always work harder and have greater muscle mass on his dominant shoulder, which makes it visibly bigger than the other. This will also cause your horse's mane to be thrown onto the weaker side. Take this mare for example. When she first arrived to her current yard, she had her mane on the left hand side. Some months later, when her right foot weakened and the left got stronger, her mane shifted to the right. After some time, her right foot got strong again and her mane shifted permanently to the left side in less than two weeks. This natural asymmetry can cause issues with both horse and rider performance, so it is our job to build up strength equally on both sides. Number 6. Horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal. You might know this one already if you're an equestrian, but how big are horses' eyes exactly? No less than 8 times bigger than ours. So does this mean they have better vision? Well, not exactly. As prey animals, they are built quite differently to a predator species like us. Horses have their eyes on the side of their heads, allowing them to see 350 degrees around themselves, which is nearly double our visual range. They can also move their eyes separately, like a chameleon. Number 7. Horses don't have collarbones or gallbladders. 
In humans, collarbones attach the arms and shoulder blades to the body and increase the arm's range of movement. Horses have their forelimbs attached by a powerful group of muscles, tendons and ligaments instead called the thoracic sling. Having a collarbone would restrict the horse's reach and stride length, making them much slower runners. It's the same reason why most four-legged runners like dogs, cattle and other farm animals don't have one either. The role of gallbladders is to store bile, the emulsifying agent produced by the liver to break down fats. Horses don't need a storage pouch for bile, as they eat frequent, small meals in contrast to humans, who eat fewer but larger meals and benefit from a greater release of bile. Instead of a gallbladder, horses have multiple separate ducts transporting bile to the intestines. They are not alone in this, as other animals like rats, deer, some species of birds and invertebrates also don't have a gallbladder. Number 8. Horses get head shy by training us. For those of you who don't know, a head shy horse will not tolerate humans touching any part of his head. This will cause daily struggles when it comes to putting on a bridle or deworming through the mouth. The reasons behind this abnormal behavior are quite simple and easy to prevent, so let's take a closer look. Once a horse gets you to consistently remove your hand by raising his head, the habit will be hard to reverse. This is because this horse will get reinforced every time he throws his head up, which will prompt him to do it more. So the next time your horse turns his head away from your hand for whatever reason, keep your hand on him until he stops, then reward him for good behavior. Or if he tries to escape his head color, get him to lower his head first, as demonstrated by horse class here, then reward. You can start doing this from any age, and it will likely prevent head shyness from ever developing. On a side note, head shyness can also have physical causes and develop if the horse has had an injury to his head. Always check with the vet before deciding that it's a behavioral problem. Number 9. Horses can't vomit or burp, nor can they breathe through their mouths. While almost all vertebral animals have the ability to vomit, a very strong muscle sphincter at the base of the horse's stomach makes sure any food they ingest can only go one way. Horses also have a weak vomiting reflex and are unable to squeeze the stomach with their abdominal muscles like we are. This is why we have to be extra careful about what we feed our horses. The only way food can ever come back out through the mouth is if the horse has had a stomach rupture. The sad news is that these horses usually only have hours left to live. So why did horses lose this valuable route of ejecting toxins? The truth is that no one knows for sure, but we might find some answers in the horse's anatomy. When a horse pushes forward in gallop, his intestines slam against the stomach with great force, which would cause any other animal to throw up. According to veterinarian and medical editor Joe Bertone, horses might have developed their powerful stomach valve to prevent them from vomiting by running away from predators. Horses are also obligate nasal breathers, meaning they can only breathe through the nose. This is because their epiglottis forms an airtight seal with a soft palate, only allowing passage of food into the esophagus. Just like with vomiting, oral breathing can only occur if the horse has serious anatomical abnormalities or conditions like the dorsal displacement of the soft palate. And lastly, here is our final fact number 10. The white patches of pinto horses are one big white marking. When you look at this colored horse, you naturally think that it has two coat colors, black and white. But in reality, the white patches are no different from a star or a blaze, or any other white marking overlaid on a base coat color. A pinto horse is born when a dominant gene for a spotting pattern is present. This gene is completely separate from the gene that creates the base coat color, which is why any patches or spots in a horse are in fact one big white marking. And there you have our 10 weird and quirky facts about horses. Which one did you know already? And which ones were new to you? Let us know in the comments below.